This is more than two grand. It's ten. A couple of poxy grand ain't gonna get you in share very far. And this should see you right for a bit. I don't know when I'll be able to pay you back. Well, you pay me back when you got it, yeah? I mean, if you ever get it, your money, it's like carrying water in your hands. You're always skint. Thanks. Well, I hope you're as happy with Sharon as I am with Sam. I don't. Nah. If you're as happy as me as Sam, you're screwed. It's not that bad, is it? So I thought I was going mental on that cruise. Well, you didn't marry her for a sparkling conversation. You married her because she's rich. <laughs> well, she's wealthy and her face don't curdle a mill. What more could a man want? You tell me. You're the one sat in here all hours. Give it a couple of years, you'll be buying yourself a garden shed. Hanging out in there, trying to hide from the wife. Oi, don't knock you. Some of them sheds are like little palaces. It's not worth it, Andy. Just move on. Yeah, well... Like you say, she's rich. Yeah, but... Anyhow, look at you, eh? Getting your life together. I never thought you'd make it past the age of 25. Always thought you'd be dumped under some flyover and a bin bag. Cheers. Good luck. And send us a postcard, yeah? What? You need to be more careful. Otherwise, there won't be anyone to send a postcard to because you're going to be the one under the flyover in a bin bag. What are you talking about? I've got eyes. I've seen the people that have been coming in and out of here. Business acquaintances, that's all. I'm not stupid. And from where I'm standing, well, it looks like the sort of business where someone gets killed. Yeah. Thank you.